Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you two different ways that you can make a switch knot. So the first way we're going to make it is just using right facing square knots. So to make a square knot right facing, we're going to take the string here on the right, cross it over the two in the middle to form this loop. The string on the other end then goes over behind the two in the middle and through the loop. And then we pull it tight and then we're going to do the opposite side. So that end crosses over the two in the middle, over, behind, and through the loop. Pull it tight. Now when we make our second square knot, we're going to take our previous ends and they're going to become our middle strings. So we just take them, fold them inwards, and now they are our middle strings. So then we take our new ends and do the exact same thing. So the string here on the right crosses over the two in the middle. The string here goes over behind the two and through the loop. We pull on that. Then we do the opposite side. Then we're just gonna kind of pull the strings to make it look good. And that is how we make a switch knot. Let's do it again. Now for our second method, we're going to alternate between making right facing square knots and left facing square knots. So let's start again with our right facing. Like before, we're going to take our previous ends and move them inwards to become our middle. And now we're going to do a left facing square knot. So we're going to take the string on the left to cross over the two in the middle. String here goes then over behind the two in the middle and through the loop. We pull on that. And then we do the opposite side. Pull it tight. Okay, and so now we'll go back to doing a right facing knot. So we turn our previous ends into the middle, take the string here, cross over, And there you go, that is two different ways you can make a switch knot. And so you can see the difference how the right facing, they're all on this side, and when we alternate, our little square knot goes from this side to that side, then back to that side. So that's two different ways you can do it. You can also do all left facing, whichever you prefer. I hope you found this video helpful, and thanks for watching.